There you go. Now it's recording. Distinguished? Yeah. Good. <laughs> she knows it. Yeah. So. Sulema, do you know glorious? Actually, we talk about this word in the... Sunday. Glorious is when you put your uh, cell phone in your pocket <laughs> yeah. and you pay totally glorious attention. <laughs> Any question about that? Should we move to the next slide? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, did you see that? His poem does like food to nourish people's mind. Because when he, uh, when he uh, wrote the poem, and the all poem is related to the life, and the teaching people how to be better. Yeah. This poem is just like food to nourish people's minds. Yeah. Maybe if we turn the lights off, Samira, you maybe can see it would be easier yeah. to read that slide. Yeah. You know, that picture reminds me of the Chinese or was a Japanese picture that we did that we did in art class. I found this picture in the uh, website. Yeah. I'm just saying it reminds me of that okay, of great. that Chinese art that we did in writing class. Remember the you know the one I'm talking about yeah. with the big ocean wave? Yeah. Do you see the similarities in the art? Similarity? Between the picture of the big wave and that picture there. You know what remembers the uh, this the picture is that we read about see another white wave. Mm -hmm. White wave? Yes. Yeah. The art in white wave reminds yeah. me of that art too. Mm -hmm. There's a certain thing about Chinese or at least Eastern art that has a lot of similarities. I don't know. Uh, you may be air, ocean, waves, things that are moving, this flowing. See how the river flows and the wave in that picture flowed and then white wave, the rice flowed out of the... I don't know. I like that. How did he do that? I found uh, his uh, picture right by some article, but I don't find the really picture because uh, this guy born in the uh, past time, and so I don't know. So you don't have the date that he was born. So what? You don't have the date that he was born. I'm sorry. You don't have the date that he was born. Yeah, I have. Because uh, in that time. I think a human doesn't have like, the camera to take pictures. So yeah, I don't find it. Is this a real picture? Well, you know, no. Actually, people just uh, imagine and then to write down like that. They just write them, right? Yeah. The next one. His name is Ilibe. Uh, he born in 601 and uh, died uh, 6, 
Tang Dynasty was a very important dynasty in Chinese history, wasn't it? Tang Dynasty? Yeah, it's, it's uh, I think it's important. What was significant about the Tang Dynasty? Well, I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> Why was he called the god of poets? Because uh, people think he is the um, best poet. Yeah. And they, he have a lot of students like, who are trying to learn how to make the poet. Why didn't they just call him the best of poets then? Because uh, he, he can make a poet in the seven Hey. Yeah, he can. He are so smart, intelligent, you know. So why I think that's why think people. Because, uh, you know, in the in Tibet, la, and I mean, <laughs> in, in Chinese language, and uh, it's really hard to make a poem. They, they, when they make a poem, they had they are just like uh, five syllables, seven syllables, you know. One word is one syllable, and then uh, it, this word uh, represents a lot of things, but it's, it's uh, hard to write. It. Yeah. Does it make sense? As I said, he, uh, he can make a poem in seven states. One seven step. One really seven step. He got one, two, three, <laughs> seven step, and he can make one four. Oh, he's wow. so fast. Oh. Yeah. told me that you could not read that writing, right? Yeah. That the characters are very difficult to read. I can't. It's a very old style. But on the side, on the on the left side, you can read the left side, right? Because that's relatively new. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Is that very readable? Yes. You know, I don't know how to explain that. It's uh, old style. They yeah. changed in 1949. They, or about that time, they simplified Chinese so that it'd be like if they made English easier to spell. Yeah. That would be good, Terry. What? That would be good. They make English better. I know. I think a lot about that. <laughs> We go next. The next slide. Are you passing that? No. Uh, this is the the port. Can I read, right? What? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so. That's the port? Yeah, that's the port. Uh, so. This is the 
title and this is the name of the author and this is the book. So I will read it. Jin Yuan Si Li Bai Tuan Qian Ming Yue Guang Yi Shi Di Shang Shuang Ju Tou Wang Ming Yue Di Tou Si Gu Shang Yeah. Uh, well, that's good. Oh, Rick, do you read it again? Read it, read it slower. Read it slower. Um, tell me whether or not it rhymes, whether or not there's assonance, okay. and whether or not there's meter. Is it there a beat to it? Okay, go. Jin Ye Si Li Bai Chuang Qian Ming Yue Guang Ying Shi Di Shang Shuang so, Fardosa, does it rhyme? I think they have. We will see. It sounds like music to me. <laughs> Uh, the poem translated. Do you want me to read it? Okay. <laughs> Go. No, you read it. I read and the and the moonbeams play around my back, delicately, like uh, pour forth to my wandering eyes. Upward the Glorious move, I raise my hand. Then I lay me down, and the top of my uh, arise. So, which sounds better? The Chinese or the English one? The English one, because we can see the You you like the English one better because because it has a clear line. You can hear the rhyme better in English? Yeah. It is, it is. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I thought the rhyme was A A B B in Chinese. But I could hear, I swear, I could hear the rhyme. In Chinese? Yeah, I could. Of course, I've studied Chinese, but it's, I didn't, I don't speak it or anything, so. I don't know much more about it than anybody else in here except you. Okay, so what's it mean? What's it mean? I just did mean when the moonlight coming through the window to his bed and then he You know, um, he said that the, right here they said the, the poet uh, are living far away the homeland, and he was uh, uh, hard working under daylight, and he have uh, no more patience for missing his homeland. And at the night when he sleep, and he was missing, and he have uh, got like free time, and he was thinking about the homeland. So, am I to understand it's a poem about, uh, what do you call that, when you really want to, you miss your home, you're uh, homesick. Yeah, it's like homesick. This is another translate. Uh, beside my bed, a pool of light. It is, is it for, uh, for forth underground? I lift my eye and see the moon. I bend my head and think of my, think of hope. I think no one's better than This one? 
Why? Why? I don't understand. Yeah, the symbol doesn't clear. Yeah, it's just like easy to see, understand, but it, it's not like the rhyme. But yeah, it doesn't rhyme. Yeah. It doesn't give you the feeling of the beauty of the poem, mm -hmm. but it's easier to understand the meaning. Although okay. I don't know what four frost is. Uh, four frost. Like, uh, this poem is so short, right? So short, right? <laughs> well, it is just very one sentence. You know, the other other is trying to make the rhyme and they try to make the main idea, you know. That's why I think it's gonna be long word. And this just shows like main main idea. And the other one was also short. Yeah, that's why we say the other one is better. So, leave it? Does it work the same way in Chinese? Yeah. The line of the pole. Oh. Look at that. And uh, I made the poem in the the Chinese people call the pini. Yeah. And then I think that this goes like that. Uh, uh, but I'm not pretty sure. So, Khalid, you can read that. Yeah. 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 I think almost anybody can read that. The, the Q sounds like what, Kashi? This one? Yeah, what's that sound like? Chi. Chi? Chian? Yeah. Chuang. Chuang. So when, when, when you see, I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, when you see this going up, it means, it means chuang, chien, and when you see it going down like this, it means yue. What's that added? Chinese is a tonal language, and there are four tones in Mandarin Chinese. I have no idea what the original language was. But some, some, some Chinese languages have as many as seven tones. But when you say a word a different way, then it means a different thing. Yeah. So if I say ma, I'm asking a question. But if I say ma, what am I saying? Ma, ma, ma. No, it's a different word. It's horse and hair and uh, I don't. Know, sorry, I don't remember. But the rhyme pattern is different than what I expected, and it's the rhyme pattern is different than the English translation. So can you read that one more time? This one? Yeah, sure. Should I read it slowly or slowly? Yeah, read it slowly. Wow. Oh. Evolution means that it relates to some other part of Chinese literature, some other something else that we know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
This is uh, this is last two sentences of the quote. That means uh, when he lift his hand up, see the moon, and he think about the homeland. Because in the in Chinese culture and in the uh, every month of the fifteenth day, they were they have like. Uh, no, not every month. I think like uh, August. I have. I think they have like a holiday. That means uh, that day they will uh, they will make a cookie called the cookie, <laughs> and we are eating the cookie and the to uh, view the moon. You know, I I, I don't. I, I I'm not sure. This August. I forgot. I think. I don't know. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be related to that holiday. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's okay to look these things up before you give the presentation. But yeah, I get what you mean. So it's an allusion to a, a, a common holiday that everybody would know. And that helps us understand something about Chinese culture. What would that be, Kashi? What? What we're understanding here about Chinese culture. You can understand the holiday of Chinese day. Holidays. Yeah. But they did not say anything about that. I mean, just this. Well, moon is kind of, has a connotation of time in Chinese culture. They didn't really count the months by months the way we do, by a calendar, so much as by the moons. So moons is an allusion to path the passing of time. Okay. Stands at? Oh, I don't know. It's very short. Yeah. Most of the uh, uh, is like that. If they are not like uh, standards and uh, the more than like that sentence, it's not called the port in Chinese. Then they were called another. Another form? Yeah. Actually, what is this character and this character and this? This one, actually this mean, if we only say this, it's tomorrow. And if we say this are together, then goes moonlight. Tomorrow's moonlight. No, oh, together they mean moonlight. Moonlight. If we say mean can, they will say Tomorrow, uh -huh. uh, they, this a uh, lot of mean. Uh huh. And the other we character means moon. This and then moonlight. Yeah. And this is a uh, is moon. What does stand as moon? What does it mean? Why you say they what mean? No, what does stand as moon? Standards. Uh, standards is like uh, uh, how to explain that? Uh, kind of like a paragraph. Yeah, paragraph. The sentences is uh, same, right? Same how how many words they have? Yeah, I think yeah. Chinese stanzas are very strict in that it has the same number of sounds in every line. You can count, there's five characters in every line. There's something perfect about it. Almost all the words look the same. Does 
personification. And the, yeah, this is a personification. The moon doesn't play like whom. Can you think of what does play Sulima? Personification here we're talking about. Do you, do you know what I mean, Mohammed? Personification? Yeah, the moonbeams play around like that. Yeah. It's like that. Uh, I just imagine that the moon, it's not real, but it's imagine that the moon is real. No, it's the moon, like, right, like, at the night, when you're, like, in your room, in your bed, is close to the window, and the moon reflects, like, the moon, the light of the moon passes through the window. And it's yeah. playing with you. Right. Chinese, it's really very, very strict and very straightforward. There are five syllables in every line of this form of poem. So, is this a part of your book or is a certification that you made and different is No, I made it in, I found this in poem. It's a form of writing that the Chinese use sometimes to so for people like us to read it. When you when you learn So what I'm saying is that when you're making the syllabication, are you gonna make it for different slides or you are doing in the poem? I'm doing in the poem. Uh, is this the poem? I read this because this is the part of a Chinese. Is it for how to pronounce the Chinese? You know? Actually, I can't read that. Oh, you want me to? Oh, wait, instead of using that marker, use a marker like this. But does that... <laughs> Well, Tashi, we've got uh, another presentation, so we're going to run out of time here. So, you want, is there one last thing you wanted to say about this? Samira, are we losing you? Did you answer your question? Excuse me? I can answer you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? I, I just, I didn't know whether your question had been answered or not. Okay. No, you, he should answer my question. Why? Well, he, you... <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the answer. Okay, so Google was searched for 0. 0.17 seconds. Yeah. 17 hundredths of a second. Why do we... What? I don't know. Put it in the second. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not MLA, no. No. Uh, it's too dark. Okay, forget about the one point. Why? No, zero point. Come, we're inside. Okay. So, uh, that's me. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, bye, we have peace. Okay, so on the bottom of your sheet, could you write number one, either A, D, 
or, or in the back. Why don't you turn to the back of your sheet. Number one, what simile describes this poem? This poem is like water to give you a drink. This poem is like a wild animal to chase your heart. This poem is like a big bus that has many people riding on it. Or this poem is like 